that right forearm be versus address and contact and during the stroke? Well, the first thing you want to understand is a lot of golfers are trying to get their right forearm to match the angle of the club at address. And they're trying to fit themselves in and trying to get that right forearm at the same angle of the club at address. That's not a good idea. When you set up to a golf ball, your body leans forward. Shoulders will be fairly level. Some golfers obviously have the right shoulder a little lower than their left shoulder when they set up. But when you come into contact, when a golfer comes into contact, there is what we call axis tilt. There's a tremendous amount more of tilt this way of the body where the pelvis or the hips have gone forward and their spine has tilted back this way. So now this forward lean that you had at address turns into more or less side bend at contact. So this forward lean turns more into side bend as you come into contact. So what this does is this lowers the right shoulder, the right shoulder ends up turning towards the ball, and the left shoulder ends up going up. So what this does, in a sense, is this lowers the right forearm more on the angle of the club. So there's no need to do it at the setup. So when you're setting up to the ball, it is much healthier to have your body leaning forward and have that right forearm above the angle of the shaft because when you come into contact and you've added that tilt and that right shoulder has gone down, now your right forearm will be in a much better position to support the shaft as you come into contact. So the right forearm, think of it as lining up with the shaft more into the contact Silly to try to do it at address because we're leaning forward at address and the axis tilting of our spine and the lowering of our right shoulder, we want that right forearm to be in line with the shaft more at contact, not at address. So understand that your body's going to have different tiltings at address and contact. Therefore, having your right forearm on the same angle of the club at address is silly because your body's going to tilt this way on the way down. Let's get into the right wrist. A lot of questions get posed by way on the right wrist and what the right wrist should be doing during the stroke. Well, obviously all strokes are custom and all people are doing different things in their stroke. I'm going to give you some general ideas and then you could apply them to your game. We can help you out. Uh, when you're looking at the right wrist on the backswing, it is helpful for the golfer to feel like that right wrist is staying somewhat level on the backswing. Now what's meant by level? Uh, the thumb and the wrist bone are going to basically stay in the same line as this wrist is going to bend back. Yet if you put a sensor on this wrist and you measured someone, a uh, tour player, a really great player, there would be some degree of upward movement of that right wrist on the way back. But with amateur golfers, what they end up doing is they do a severe amount of trying to use their wrists on the backswing. They think they need to swing back and pick that club up with their wrist, and they end up getting that right wrist to angle the club way too much to that side of where they're trying to hit. So it's helpful for those types of golfers to feel like that right wrist is just bending back and not doing much of an upward lift. So on the backswing, you want to feel like that right wrist is bending back and not lifting the club up that way. Now, as you come into contact, a lot of golfers feel like or think that they need to, on the downswing, keep that right wrist, keep this angle the whole entire time exactly like it is as they come into the contact. Well, they're so afraid that they're going to uh, have club head throw away or they're going to end up bringing that sweet spot past their hands that they keep this right wrist bent extra long and they try to keep it bent and extended the whole time on the way through. First what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to examine how the right wrist and the club and forearm here make like a half a diamond shape here. This makes like half a diamond shape and we don't want to have a very sharp angle here between the forearm and the shaft. A lot of people are trying to do this as they come into contact. You're going to end up with much too much forward lean on the shaft, which ends up de-lofting the face, and what ends up giving you a very much too much of a downward strike, which mimics very much of an in-to-out swing path. 
So what you need to do is, on the downswing, is you need to train yourself to allow that right wrist to come and open up this angle here between the back of the forearm and the shaft to let that angle open up so that we ha come into contact with the correct amount of forward shaft lean that we're trying to control for the shot. Uh, we're trying to control that downward strike. We're trying to avoid too much of that downward thump. We you see this all the time where everybody's trying to keep that wrist as extended and they're pushing their arm and that's just silly stuff. So what you have to train yourself to do is maybe make that right wrist feel a little more level on the way back, feel like it bends back, and then on the way down, you need to open up this angle as you let that club come down so that you can control exactly where that shaft is going to be as you come into more of a level contact in such, instead of such a severe in-to-out downward contact. So my suggestion for you is to learn and train yourself to open up this angle here to let that angle open up and train yourself to get that club shaft to come into contact how you want it. And then contact and beyond, allow that right wrist and right hand to go more palm down after that ball is long gone. So I'm going to come into contact, that shaft's going to line up, this angle has opened up, contact, ball's gone, into my follow through. And then I'm going to introduce that swivel where that right palm will turn down. So we would put the whole thing together, controlling and letting that right wrist and the right forearm, that angle, open up as we mix it with our body pivot to give us good sound contacts. The right forearm, the right wrist. I hope those will help you game. If you have any questions, put them up on the golf forum and we'll answer your questions. Michael Jacobs from the Michael Jacobs Explosive Golf School, thank you very much.